Making sense of advice and commands in reported speech. Hello, language learners. Welcome to our today's session where we will dive deep into the world of reported speech. But today, we're going to put a special focus on reporting advice and commands. We'll explore what they mean, how they differ, and of course, the right way to report them in English. Ready to kickstart this linguistic journey? Let's get started. Before we dig deeper, let's first take a step back and ensure we're all on the same page about reported speech. Reported speech, also known as indirect speech, is when we relay information that someone else has said, without quoting them verbatim. It allows us to incorporate someone else's words into our own sentences, thereby providing context and adding a degree of reliability. When we want to relay the advice that someone has given, we use specific structures in reported speech. A typical structure would be, he, she advised me to, or he, she suggested that. It's vital to remember that advice is more of a suggestion rather than a direct order, so the tone is generally more polite and gentle. Let's consider an example. Direct. You should watch this English language video, John said. Reported. John advised me to watch the English language video. On the other hand, reporting commands or requests involves more direct language. Commands or requests typically start with the verbs, told, or asked, in reported speech. Remember that commands and requests are more direct and explicit than advice. For instance, direct, please, pass me the salt, said Mary. Reported, Mary asked me to pass her the salt. To sum up, the key difference between reporting advice and commands, requests, lies in their tone and intention. Advice is more suggestive and softer, whereas commands, requests are explicit and direct. Remembering this difference can help you use the correct structure and convey the right tone when reporting speech. And that's a wrap. We hope this session has shed some light on the differences between reporting advice and commands in English. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing these structures in your daily conversations. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll tackle more exciting aspects of English grammar. Until then, keep learning and keep growing.